Our offering this morning is for Redeemer University in Ancaster, Ontario. Uh, that is a Christian liberal arts university, and uh, we are so glad to support them. I'm perhaps a little bit biased because my daughter is going there. Um, they are, just for your information, they are currently trying to figure out what classes will look like in the fall. Uh, they have just recently sent out a survey to students to inquire whether or not they would be uh, interested or willing in coming to coming onto campus and living uh, in some modified sort of form there on campus or whether they would be uh, willing or interested in doing online courses almost completely uh, and uh, yeah they're just trying like everybody else to sort of navigate uh, this whole situation you can check out their inner their information by googling Redeemer University and uh, find out more about what they are all about now, let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, uh, thank you again so much for bringing us together uh, this day. Lord, we pray that you will bless each and every one of us who uh, listens in on this service, who participates in this service. Thank you so much for the many people who have participated in helping to produce these various services over the past weeks. Lord, we appreciate their service so much. Lord, we pray that you would uh, not only bless them, but bless every, every member of our congregation, Lord. There are those who are lonely. There are those who are struggling with illness. Uh, there are those who are struggling, yeah, with cancer or with, uh, with mental health concerns or what have you. Lord, please be with each and every one of them. Lord, we thank you so much that so far, um, so far we do not have any cases of COVID-19 in our congregation that we're aware of. Lord, we pray that uh, you will continue this, uh, not because we are special or worthy, O oh God, uh, but we just are so grateful for your mercy upon us. Lord, we pray that you will be with this whole world. Lord, as we see the cases jump up towards 6 million in this world, identified cases, and as we see more than 100,000 deaths in the United States, uh, our neighbors to the south, we pray. We pray for this world. We pray for our uh, brothers and sisters throughout Canada. We thank you that some uh, provinces seem to be doing so well in containing the virus, and we pray that that will continue. Lord, we pray that as Ontario, <clears throat> as Ontario uh, opens up in, in partial ways uh, throughout the next uh, weeks and, and days and months, and Lord, we pray that you will just keep people safe, uh, that you will help people to obey the precautions that are there uh, from our government and from our health uh, teams. Lord, we pray that you will protect our frontline workers, our healthcare system, that you will protect the most vulnerable among us. Lord, as we see the, the reports coming out about uh, the, the state of long-term care uh, in this province particularly, Lord, we pray that you will be with all of those who are working in long-term care and all of those who are residents of long-term care. We thank you so very, very much for the good, good people who are here uh, working and volunteering at Maple View Lodge. We thank you so much that, uh, that they are uh, caring so well for the residents there. And uh, Lord, we just pray a blessing upon Maple View Lodge and the work that they do there. Lord, continue to protect them, we pray. Father, we also pray uh, again, for our brothers and sisters, for our neighbors down to the south in the United States. And we ask that you will be with them during not only this uh, turbulent time uh, of the virus, but also during the upheavals uh, that are happening in, in Minneapolis uh, and uh, Minnesota and in the surrounding, well, throughout the United States. Lord, please, please help justice to happen. Help the right to happen. Help, help people who are oppressed to have a voice, O oh God. Lord, we know that racism is a deep reality. Both in the United States, we can see that, but also here at home. Lord, some of us 
some of us remember coming to this country from the Netherlands and we remember being picked on or even persecuted because of our different language or uh, the way that we were culturally different, God. And, and we weren't even having a different skin color as if that, as if that's reason for judging somebody. Father, please, please, may we love and celebrate all of those who are of different colors and different backgrounds, different cultures. Lord, may we, may we see with love all of those who bear your image, which is all the human beings on this earth, whoever have been and ever will be. Father, would you please help us and help all the countries of this world to dis disassemble systemic built-in racism. Lord, we think of people of color here in Canada and we think we think of our indigenous our first nations peoples and we know that racism has been perpetrated against all of them god please forgive us and please help us to stop Lord, please bring reconciliation in this world between all people. For we know that that is the ministry that you have given us, the ministry of reconciliation. Father, we pray, we pray that we will also be able to celebrate, celebrate the Holy Spirit that you have given us on this day so long ago on Pentecost, but Lord, also the Holy Spirit that lives in each and every believer who follows you. Lord God, would you please inspire us as we hear your word today, your scriptures, and as you get, we get the message that you deliver today. Lord, may my words be inspired by your Holy Spirit and may they speak truth. May they encourage us and strengthen us for all the days that we face. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen.